gave them 45 shingles, they came by and picked them up. We're going to give them out tomorrow night. Got some McDonald cards, gift cards. We gave them about 40 of those, five bucks you know, each card. And they're waiting for them. So they've been talking about you guys. They're just all the kids just waiting. Why are those guys coming back? So you're going to go back and kill them? <laughs> now you're talking about seven to nine years old, weren't you? How on earth did you get beat by seven to nine year olds? <laughs> Actually, we got beat by some 13 to 25 years old. But you gotta realize, those guys are a lot faster, a lot quicker than us. They've been playing together. And they got some, yeah, we got some yeah. All right. Like I said, we ain't there to win the game. I was gonna say, man, the 77 to 9 year olds are beating Dami to tell you. Young guys are something else. Anyway, you know, we're going all over the place all the time. But we're really, really making inroads. We didn't know we were going to get these bicycles to last week. That's a guy who just called somebody up to bring their truck and their trailer. Bobby Davis running around here and, hey, we got to get these things put together. So we took a bunch of them down there and put them together down there. I'm going to tell you something. That old gator's running around crazy. He came down and sang. He smelled funny. No, he didn't. He just thought he did. And Robert never went down there doing the praise and worship. And, you know, just, everybody was just cooking. It's just kind of neat. We're just really taking the ground. How many believe that? Amen. Sure, we are. You and me, sure, we are. Oh, there she is. What do you think about all that? Um, I thought it was pretty awesome. Um, you know, we we go out to five to one, and before we left, a girl got saved. Amen. And she just cried and poured out her heart. And I I think then I realized, okay, Lord, this, there's a lot of people, but there's that one. Amen. That was one of these yeah, it was it, it was awesome, and I got to talk to um, Jason, and we prayed with him. It was. It was God is going to do mighty things, but we have to be willing to be a vessel for him. We have to be willing to sacrifice. It's going to take commitment on my part. It's going to take um, it's going to take sacrifice, but I'm willing to do it for the Lord. I mean, look what he sacrificed for us. Amen. And it's just, he's awesome. And to just, everyone, just to, to be strong and to, to stand firm. Sorry. Just be strong and stand firm in the Lord and what He's called you to do because He's called each and every one of you to, to do mighty things for Him. And uh, some of you are the kind of people that the next person next to you know, can. So, and who cares what people say about you? You know what I mean? It's going to always be that way, but what matters is the Lord and to keep your focus on Him. Amen. Yeah, those are her people. That's where she grew up. And so... That, that was hard. Amen. Now, <coughs> you get a chance to go back down and just talk to her. She wants to get some people. She wants to get her own little team. Her own little three breaths. Yeah. And just go down there and start knocking on doors, talking to people, you know, the reservation, and coordinating awesome. different events. And, Maybe run by our bus down, pick them up, or whatever. Yeah. When they have something down there, just run over the reservation, pick them up, and bring them. But whatever, that's what it's going to take. And you know what's kind of neat? I'll never forget this. We've been just fighting down, down there, you know, over and over for a long, long time. There's an older gentleman down there, a traditionalist. Mm -hmm. He was sitting there, and one day I was giving the order call. Back to the end of the day, and I do it a little different. But anyway, just put that up. Sir, can you give your life to Jesus? Yes, sir, you. Did that to everybody down there. And he did. And then every, we were doing Bible studies down there. The daughter, right? Every week, every Saturday, he would show up. And then he passed away. We had a memorial for him. That was kind of neat, you know. So we don't know. It's just a matter of us just going, and God's going to go with us. And don't worry about anything else. <laughs> and somebody, somebody. Times like to get out of the day and everybody's worried about why well, do we get this done right to get that done right? And, you know, is the, is the guitar tuned right? Is the PA system aimed in the right direction? And God knows. So let God be God. So, you want to just see if some people are going to tell them what you want to do.
army you gonna build to go down there? Well, we just want to get people who who want to go out there, and if it's in your heart, you know, keep coming out with us. We're gonna we're gonna do this. You know what I mean? But we need to pray about it. We need to be prayed up always. And like Kevin Bishop says in class for phase two, you gotta wear your armor all day, every day. Sleep with it, shower with it. You know what I mean? Because people and things are gonna come at you, and you gotta be prepared. You gotta be prayed up. You know and if it's in your heart, it's your desire, um, let's do this. Amen. We need to take back what the enemy tried to steal from us. Amen. Amen. Oh, you got to put your warfare up. Now, how many want to go with the Shout out. You want to make a commitment to go with it? Come on, stand. Win. Come on, stand by. Stay in one place, too, as long as you here for, you know, you got to have your 30 days in. Oh, no. That's what Kenan Devereaux is. Y'all need to go. Y'all need to Well, she'll tell you. I just... You're making a commitment. If you're not going down there all the time, I mean, you're just going to, you want to go down there because you don't have a burden. All right, God bless you. You may be seated. Now, we got a young man, is, I'll tell you what, he's been chopping the bits, bouncing around, wants to get from there up to here, gets up here, he wants to do the whole praise and worship, because he wants to sing a song. Michael, it's your turn. Come on up here, Michael. Come on, not next week. You guys going for them. Oh, yeah, you want to get that one. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Before I even knew to breathe, God introduced to Christ the man, this a new demand. 
was looking down at me, found me burning in the sea, dead without a mouth to breathe. I was blind, but now I see. Took the lies about me, a price was on the side of me, and that's who I'm proud to be. You can take my hand, Lord, you can take my hand.